I want to leave with you a theme for these two passages of scripture that simply says to please him is to trust him. To please him is to trust him. We've already learned in our studies of the epistle to the Hebrews that the author is unknown. We've already learned and discussed that while some theologians dispute among the, the learned when they should or whom they should ascribe this epistle to, many agree and have assigned it to the Apostle Paul. Of the various languages in which the Bible was written, Hebrew and Greek are the most famous. Hebrew is the original language of most of the Old Testament. Thus, leaving most of the New Testament to be written in, in Greek. Scholars have also ensured, are also unsure about the origin of the term Hebrew. Some believe that it came about from Eva, a descendant of Noah through Shem, an ancestor of Abraham, according to Genesis 10, 21, and 25. Although there were controversies surrounding the authorship and the origin of the term, what is concise and exact is the scope and the design of the letter. The letter was written or con 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 constructed to inform and influence the mind and to strongly confirm the judgment of the Hebrews in the transcendent excellency of the gospel above the law. In, in other words, what I'm trying to make you to know and understand is that this particular letter was written to prove to the Hebrews that 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 the gospel, that's it, that's the birth, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that it goes far beyond the law. The law in which the Jews were compelling the Hebrews and the Gentiles to conform to. In other words, the author was here making it clear to this nation of Israel. These Jews that the gospel, the good news, that it exceeded in all aspects the law. And so here we are this morning uh, talking about this thing called faith. And it was imperative that, 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 that the Hebrews, that they believed in what the prophets and what these pastors and these preachers were teaching. No, no, no different than it is today. Uh, the struggle is still on, Monty, uh, uh, for many people in the body of Christ uh, are trying to learn, trying to believe in what the Word of God says. Uh, uh, there are many people who struggle with believing that God is and that He is a reward. There are many people who believe, who fail to believe that there is a hell waiting for those who refuse to accept our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the pardon of their sin. There is a heaven that's waiting for all of us who have already accepted Him and are waiting for that great getting up morning. Look at somebody and say, I'm glad I believe in Him. Webster, Webster defines the word please like this. It is defined to be in agreement with. To have the will or wish to do. To please is to be polite. To give pleasure or satisfaction. The Bible says when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Proverbs 16 and 7. Then Jesus said unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself but as my Father hath taught me. I speak. 
speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone. For I do always those things that pleases him. John 8, 28 and 29. And then Paul wrote in his letters to the church in Rome. They that are in the flesh cannot please God. No. He says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is not of his. Romans 8, 8 and 9. And then Jehoshaphat, leading the people to victory over the Ammonites and the Moabites, stood before the children of Judah and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. Second Chronicles 20 and 20. And then trusty Johnson, Isaiah picked it up in the seventh chapter and verse 9 saying, If ye will not believe, surely you will not be established. The Lord God said, You are my witnesses and my servants whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me. And understand that I am he. Before me there was no God form. Neither shall there be after, after me. Our aim should be to please him. To please him is to trust in him. Our text therefore of the morning defines for us this thing called faith or belief. It tells us. Sit 